Let's see how we can compute uh, sample variance and sample standard deviation. We have a data set with three observations, four, five, and nine. The first order of business is to compute the mean. So we need to sum them up, and the summation for this example is 18. Average them, and x bar is 18 divided by 3, which would be 6. Then we need to take each observation and subtract from it the mean that we just computed. So 4 minus 6 is negative 2, 5 minus 6 is negative 1, and 9 minus 6 is 3. The next thing is to take each of those differences that we just computed and square them. So negative 2 squared is 4, 1 squared is 1, and 3 squared is 9. Then we need to sum them up, in which case we get 14, and uh, computing the sample variance would be taking the squared differences, sum them up, which is what we have done, and divide it by n minus 1. Now in this example, n is 3, 1, 2, 3 data values. So it'll be 14 divided by 3 minus 1, which is 14 divided by 2, which in this case would be 7. And this is uh, sample variance. s squared. Then standard deviation would be square root of the sample variance, which is square root of 7, which in this case would be 2.65. Now you can compute this using um, your uh, B, uh, business analyst 2 plus calculator, and the way you would do that is to, you go to second function uh, data and you can start uh, entering your data values. So the first, um, you can enter um, either one variable or two variable um, problems into this calculator. Uh, for this problem, we have one variable only, only x variables. So the first x1 in our problem is 4, and then you would do enter and the arrow down button. But because we don't have a y variable, you just leave it at that, and you would enter the arrow down but button again to go to the second x variable, which is 5. So then again we do enter and button down, or arrow down, and another arrow down, and now we're ready to enter our last uh, observation, 9, and we do enter and arrow down. And now we're ready to do our calculation. So now we go to second function key and the stats button, which is um, number 8 key. You will get through uh, several menus. This is for linear regression, L-I-N, but we don't want that. So you go to second function and enter. And you go through those second function and enters until you get to the menu for 1V or one variable. At that point, we're ready to see the results, and you can do that by clicking the arrow down button. n is 3, or the number of observations. Uh, average x value is 6, which is what we computed here, which is what we computed here. Um, the sample standard deviation is 2.65, which is what we computed here. The um, population standard deviation is 2.16. That would be if this calculation was for a population, in which case then we would have divided 14 by 3, and then we would get 2.16 in that case. Summation of all the x values is 18, which is what we had computed here. Uh, summation of the x's squared is 122, 
had we needed that information. And then we're back to um, uh, the menu again, which means that all the calculations that the calculator has done for us uh, is what we just observed. You can also see that if we um, enter this uh, data set in Excel and use this uh, equation uh, or this function, the STDEV, which is the standard deviation function for um, a sample, we get 2.65, which is what we computed. Thank you.